A familiar shape seen atop riders all over the world on roads and racetracks. I'm Tom from Affinity Motorcycles, and this, well, this is my Arai RX-MB. This frost black beauty has been keeping my head safe for the last four years, whether that's under scorching sun, relentless rain, or slushy snow, uh, even a few sessions around Donington Park. Now, before I get into talking about this helmet, I must stress, this is my actual helmet, and I paid full RRP for this. I didn't have a staff discount or any freebies that didn't work here at the time. I saw this helmet, I thought, hey, I like the look of that, and then stumped over about 600 and something pounds at the time. It was one of the first ones to be sold at Infinity, and it's, one of my prized possessions. So at the time I thought that's an awful lot of money, have I made the right decision? You know, it was over 600 quid and it very quickly won me around. It was the right decision and I would happily buy another one today, even though I think the price has gone up um, a little bit more, but hand on heart was totally worth it. Now they are all handcrafted. They use a lot more, a lot more layers of fiberglass and other bits and pieces inside the shell when they make it. It's handcrafted, they use very little machinery and Arai have this fantastic company ethos and we'll do that in a later video but you know I really like that I like that it's all handcrafted and, made by hands. and yeah okay it's heavy but you know top riders in you know the motor GP field you know world supervised BSB they wear this and they trust you know their safety with an Arai an RX-7 B and the weight doesn't really bother me I know people like to make that argument but for me it doesn't bother me um lighter helmets are really nice I do appreciate a nice light lid but for this it's comfy I like it a lot of people also associate Arai's with being noisy helmets. Yes, they have these lovely big vents on them, they have the side pods on them, and it is a noisy helmet, you can't get me wrong, it is noisy. But the trade-off for that is these absolutely enormous vents that are very, very effective. This thing flows air just superbly, it's absolutely fantastic. If you could put a can of Coke in it and, I don't know, send that down the road at 70 miles an hour, it would keep it perfectly cool. It flows an awful lot of air and it's, night and day like it is fantastic and i'll take that trade off any day so it's also the first time arai debuted the new visor mechanism on this and it is fantastic so you pop off the side pod and you roll the visor forward and there you go happy days on the old system if you pop the side pod off your visor was basically useless so it's really nice it actually isn't a pain or anything i mean yeah if you're at a racetrack maybe it might save you a few seconds having the old system but for Let's be honest, 99% of us who ride on the road, taking 10 seconds to change a visor isn't really a problem. And it's just a much better system overall. It's a little bit narrower, noise is a little bit less. It's a really good system. Uh, so being Arai's top level helmet, the interior is completely removable. The fabric is also uh, moisture wicking and is anti-microbial. Anti -microbial, so it doesn't get too horrible or smelly in there. Uh, and taking out is really nice and easy to clean the helmet and keeping it fresh and even now after four years I have the same interior I had when I first took it out of the box and it still smells pretty nice. I know this video is basically me kind of gushing over this helmet about how much I love it but there are two things I wish were a little bit different. One I wish you could get an integrated intercom system you know it's really easy to fit like I just said but it would be nice if you could just have a lot of manufacturers now just doing a simple like click push done that would be quite nice uh, the other one is, I wish I bought it in white or a jazzier colour. This is quite cool, but I want a bit of colour. And those are the only things I'll change. And that's the thing is, when you spend six, seven hundred pounds on a helmet, it should all be nice and work well and be fantastic. It shouldn't have a flaw or a problem. Apart from maybe the price being a bit expensive, but you know, everything is brilliant and you get what you pay for. And it's brilliant. Now, I'm not saying you need to rush out and buy one of these things immediately and it will change your life. No, but I do think the next time you're going to go out and buy a helmet, you should definitely look at the higher end of you know the market, see what's out there, and you'll definitely notice a difference. Um, the key thing is find a helmet that fits and is comfortable. You know, we offer that service in any one of our 15 stores, and you need to get the right helmet for you. And make sure you like the colour of it because you know colour is important. You got to look cool, right? Um, and just try it out and see what you think. You know, you might be tempted to spend a few extra quid just to get something that is a little bit nicer. If you haven't heard already, we are answering your questions. Yes, your questions about biking, riding, motorcycles, helmets, clothing, accessories, where to go and get the best tea and bacon butty. We are gonna answer those questions and we're gonna do a little video on it in a couple of weeks. So write your questions below in the comment section and the best question will also get a 10 pound voucher to spend online or in store.
Okay, and that's it. I'm done gushing over this helmet. I will let you get back to your day, back to whatever you're doing. Hopefully you're going out for a ride on your bike. So ride safe, have fun.